I don't know if you can see right here. I marked these lines out every 18 inches. So we got an 18 inch square foot method. And that's because most tomato plants take um, a, a, about 18 inches in surface area. So you wanna go right in the center of that. And then this is a bigger pot than I used last time. So we'll see if how easy it is to get it out of here. I'm gonna water it first a little because that kind of helps it, the soil to stay together. So we'll see if we can't um, get this giant pot out. Oh, look at that, here it comes. Oh, so that's the stuff. You can see it has roots ready to go. They're going uh, just ready and hungry for more. So we'll set him aside back here. That way, can dig out the area that we're going. And this is a nice soft dirt. I, I honestly don't even need the shovel. It's crazy. Because it's that raised bed mix. And it's just really airy and light. And that's what your roots like. So that they can get down in there and just thrive. It's that easy. Another reason to use that, the raised bed mix, because you can see how easy that was to dig. I didn't even need the shovel at all. There we go. So you don't need this bottom stem or leaf, whatever you want to call it, because uh, we're going to put it a little deeper and that way the hairs on there are going to branch out. And that's that easy. One down. Oh, and then you want to definitely want to water after you put it in. Just to help uh, those roots get established. Okay, up next is the brandy wine. You can see here the leaves are just a lot bigger and just fluffier and they also tend to get some little yellow on there so like i said they're not as pretty but they definitely put off some awesome tomatoes the soil is the bomb i'm already done so just upside down here, there it is, again, roots, they've got to the edges so they're ready for more, they're hungry, here it goes, nice, loving this raised bed mix, it's just so fluffy and nice, I'm from Arizona so the dirt we had there, man, I hate to do it because there's not much on here, but I think technically I should clip that one off too because you don't even want your, uh, your leaves touching the soil at all. If they're touching the soil, there's a chance for it to get uh, disease or anything like that or uh, mildew and that kind of stuff. Mm. So we're going cherry, brandy wine, brandy wine. Digging by hand. Can't get better than that. That looks good. So here's the big boy. Whew. All right, there it is. So yeah, those roots even got to the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. So they're ready for more too. There it is. He's in the ground. Six feet by three feet. So 18 inches, that gives us four spots. So we can do four tomato plants comfortably in here. If you're a pro, I've seen people do them even a foot apart. So I'm gonna play it safe. Mm. 
Here comes the Roma. This is gonna be our tomato bed. Look how soft that stuff is. Plop them in there. You bury it all up around that stem. And remember with tomato plants you can go a little deeper because all the little hairs on there they uh, they'll shoot out and create more roots we had some extra of the Easter buckets so we decided to use those we just cut holes in the bottom and it's been doing well as you can see this one actually because it has more room out to grow it's quite a bit bigger than these other ones and they were all planted at the same time this one might be a little more tricky. It's big old boy, but we'll see what happens. Come on. Oh yeah. And look at that. I'm amazed. Look at those roots. They just take off. If you give them room to grow, then they'll grow. Nice. The fun part, just dig it out with your hands. Blows. So it's that easy. Wow. Water around it. Okay, same thing here. We got the Easter bucket with the brandy wine tomato. This brandy wine's doing a little better. It's because the more room you give it to grow, the better it's gonna do. Then those roots don't have to all fight for dirt. They can go out and get their own. It's nice it has the handle, I can pull on it. Yeah, look at that, we got some roots. If you just follow a few certain steps, it's really not that difficult. Well, you do have to pay attention to it, I think that's a lot of people's problem is it's a daily chore I and mean, I definitely watch after these plants every single day and give them a little time so if you ever have to if you're just too busy to do that then you need someone else to cover for you you can't just let them go for two or three days without touching them or they're gonna suffer that's that I'm gonna wait on these Actually, I'm growing a couple other ones that I started later. So we'll put them in once they mature a little inside. There we go. Check it out. Look at those nice, healthy plants just ready to thrive. And again, remember the three-in-one garden spray. They're all in the ground now. So we're just going to wet them down on all the leaves, which keeps those insects away. They don't want to come and lay their eggs on it and cause you problems put so much work to get it to this point. Soak them down. Nice. Now I just emptied these and put them into the garden. Now I can reuse these pots. And like I said, I have another batch coming of, and they're all in the solo cups and they're not quite as big as those other ones, but now we can pot them up, throw them in here for the next week or two, and then get them ready to do the same thing.